Hey tribe, hey, I hope you are doing well. I hope your Bible reading plan is off to a great start. Um, I wanted to encourage you as we are entering the, the holidays um, to continue going, to continue doing that. Um, I, I, I don't know if you're on one right now. I don't know if you have one that you maybe have found now that you've been on the Uversion app for a little bit and uh, you're able to see some of the other uh, different plans that might be more applicable to uh, a season of life that you're in or something that you want to learn more about or grow in. Um, I don't know where you're at, um, but I would love to hear where you're at. Um, um, so first and foremost, um, let me know. Uh, shoot me a text. Uh, pull me aside. Uh, shoot me an email. I would love to hear how, uh, A, your your Bible plan is going, uh, if you've been a part of one, uh, what that's looked like for you, uh, and B, um, what what plan you might be looking forward to. Um, I would love to hear what, what you're kind of uh, looking at and reading uh, because I, I want to learn from you too. So uh let me know. I would love to hear from you this week on, on how that's going and uh, what, what you're uh, anticipating, uh, especially as we enter into the, the new year. Um, on top of that, um, I, I realized uh, maybe you're like me in this way where um, it, could be, it could be hard sometimes to uh, find a few minutes to just uh, pull out your, your phone, uh, pull out the Uversion app and go through your plan. And Although it's only a couple minutes, sometimes um, it, it could be difficult. And what I know to be true um, is that the battle uh, in our lives is often in our thoughts. Uh, it's not so much uh, person to person or around the things. It, it's it's in our thoughts. It's in our hearts. It's in our minds. And um, that then affects how we do life uh, outside in the physical. Uh, I use a phrase a lot. What we think affects how we feel and how we feel affects how we behave and our behavior matters, whether it's positive or negative, because it informs what it is that we believe. And if we believe that uh, our faith matters, like uh, our thoughts do matter then. Um, and so that said, um, sometimes it can be difficult to jump on a, a Bible reading plan to encourage our faith, to encourage our thoughts, to encourage all that stuff. Uh, sometimes we need a, a tool to help our thoughts uh, in order to uh, kind of combat some of that stuff when life is busy. So uh, he, I want to introduce you to a tool that I use um, a lot, um, and I'm actually jumping back on uh, this year. I'm actually starting right now, um, and that way by uh, January 1, 2020, um, I will be up and running, and uh, I am excited to see kind of what uh, what happens, what gets logged in my brain, what gets logged in my heart, and how my life will be transformed as a result. So uh, that said, uh, I want to introduce you to the topical memory system. It's a, uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a memory system for scripture verses. It's topical, meaning there, there are certain topics to it. And um, it, it's really simple. It's um, one page and... Um, this is what it looks like. You can click the link uh, below to, to download this page, and uh, or you can just type in Topical Memory System online, and that, that's there. But you can see several different, um, different topics there. There's five key categories, live the new life, proclaim Christ, uh, rely on God's resources, be Christ's disciples, and then grow in Christ's likeness. And in each of those five categories, there's six topics. Um, so like in the first one, live the new life, uh, you'll see that there's Christ the center, uh, obedience to Christ, the word, prayer, fellowship, and witnessing. And each of these topics then has two verses, section one, section two. And um, what what you do, uh, actually what I do, uh, because I am on the go a lot, um, I sometimes don't get to uh, pull out my phone um, but I, I do have a, a journal or I have uh, my backpack or something like that with me uh, or it's in the car is I have a, a little uh, index card binder uh, that I keep with me. Uh, this actually sits in my backpack uh, or in my truck at almost all times. I actually have two of them. Uh, one for my bag when I'm on the go, one for my truck. And um, what I do is I take the first section, so the first section for us is, is live the new life, right? 
I translate that right into here. And uh, I just create my own little uh, index. And I then, so you can see that uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 is the first one. And I then come here and I put it right there. So 2 Corinthians 5.17 is, is on there. Um, I label it so I know which number it is. Um, I'm a weirdo. But then I write out the, the verse. Uh, this process alone is life-giving. Um, it, it, it already starts to saturate in your heart and mind. Uh, but then what I do is after I have that first section down, I just start committing them to memory. I'll pull this thing out and I go, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone. The new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17. And then I keep going until I have it memorized. So uh, in this case, I've, I've got this one memorized. I've got this whole first section memorized, all 12 of these verses memorized. Um, and so if somebody goes, hey, Josh, what's 2 Corinthians 5.17? I go, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone. The new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Pretty sweet, right? Simple. Uh, but it, 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 take, it took me maybe a couple minutes to, to memorize it. Um, and then what I would do is after I got that first one down, I'd go to the next one, which is Galatians 2.20. It says, uh, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20. Uh, but what I do is I'll, I'll have started this. I'll, I'll try to get the first half of it down. Once I got that first half down, I go right back to the first one. And so I go, uh, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Okay. Uh, what was 2 Corinthians 5.17? Therefore, I am, if anyone is in Christ, uh, right? And I, I just kind of walk out that whole verse. So I have it uh, and I'm reminding myself that there's a, there's kind of a system here, uh, but it, it forces me to kind of remember faster and connect with it faster uh, which I think is awesome. Now, in the season of life that um, I've been in the past several years, um, I, I, I started doing this a couple years ago. Um, and to be honest, there, there would be these there would be spots where I would I would get stuck. I would stop, or uh, something else would come up, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be so immersed in this thing. Um, but because I memorized them, uh, they're in my head. They're in my heart. Uh, when something would happen or go, if something's going on in life, what I would find is that um, as I would pray or as I would think, as I'd look at the life uh, and the situations around me, I would then start to think alongside scripture. And so rather than having a, a certain devotional that I go through and talking about anxiety or uh, talking about having hope or uh, talking about like uh, how, how Christ is the center, I actually have the core of those devotionals, which is scripture um, in my head and heart. And so now I've noticed that I can apply those scriptures to all things happening in my life. For instance, I was going through a season where I was really uh, just tired and lethargic and um, in, in some some ways uh, there there were strains of like I feel a depressive state and um, it, it was just it was tough it was tough to push through it and I, I felt like I couldn't do it but uh, because I had these scriptures in my mind I I would remind myself that like really all things are possible right um, I it's not me who's living it's Christ who's living in me and for me that was a that was a testimony but like then the, the scripture continues like uh, I live by faith and so I'm, I'm not living by my circumstances I'm living by my faith and so then I begin to look at my situations based off of what scripture said and it changed the game so um, I, I would encourage the same thing for you is uh, maybe maybe what you are looking for maybe what you need maybe uh, what would be helpful to you is to have an additional resource an additional tool where you can uh, utilize throughout the day uh, throughout your week uh, second I, I noticed by doing this that uh, my my prayer life would would increase uh, actually it would feel weightier 
my prayers would feel weightier. In, in other words, I would uh, I would be thinking about something, or I'd, I'd go to the Lord for something, and uh, I'd, I'd bring it up, and then uh, I would start thinking some of these scriptures uh, over people or over situations, and I would start praying these scriptures over people and over situations, and uh, I started seeing these the God's word come alive. Uh, and it was just, it was a blessing. It was rich. Like, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. Like, that's true of me, right? And it's still true of me. Of Like, I'm still trying to become who God's called me to be. But there are people in my life where that's not applicable. Uh, that That's not yet true of them. And so I prayed that over them. And I, I am praying that over them, uh, specifically Second Corinthians five seventeen, and uh, as the Lord makes it happen, as the Lord intersects and, and engages with their life, well, guess what? Like that becomes then a victory. That becomes a, a blessing to my life. Uh, they don't have to know that I was praying that or that specific verse or anything like that. It's not about that. It's about me and the Lord and getting to have that partnership. And so. All that said, I could tell you way more. Uh, this would be a 70-minute video, but uh, that's the simple tool. Uh, I would love for you to check it out. Download this page um, and maybe get yourself one of these journals. Uh, if, if you can't afford one, come talk to me, text me. I will buy you one. Uh, I will help you write these out if, if need be because this it's that important. It's that awesome. Uh, so to check, check it out uh, and let me know if you are in on 2020, if you are in to do this with me, uh, let me know. Shoot me a text um, or, or respond to this video and let me know that you're in because uh, I would love to uh, connect with you. I would love to keep each other accountable uh, to it because I think that this is the game changer, y'all. So uh, bless you. Keep me posted and uh, give me a shout uh, about your Bible plan. Give me a shout about if you're in this or not. And uh, I, I hope to see y'all on the flip. Take care, y'all.